In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Al plus CuSO4. That's aluminum plus copper 2 sulfate. First thing we need to do, write the balanced molecular equation. So the coefficients for this would be 2, 3, 1, 3. So once this is balanced, we can write the states for each of the substances. This is a metal. There's no charge written after it. That's going to be a solid. And then copper, same thing, solid. Copper sulfate, that is aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. You could look that up on a table for solubility. Uh, aluminum sulfate, I'm not sure. I want to check that. So here's our solubility table. And aluminum's up here. Sulfate's here. So we go across. So that S there, that means this is going to be soluble. It's going to dissolve in water. We're going to put an AQ for aqueous after it. The next thing we need to do is split the soluble compounds apart into their ions. That'll give us our complete ionic equation. So we need to know the charge on the ions. We said these metals, there's no charge with those. The copper, we can look at the sulfate, which is two minus, it tells us this copper, which is a transition metal. So we don't really know the charge it has to be two plus. Aluminum's three plus, And we said the sulfate was two minus the copper. That's just a solid metal there. Now we can split them up. We have aluminum. Al, we said that's the solid. We have two of those. So we don't split that. It's only one thing anyway. We add copper 2 plus, Cu 2 plus, and we have three of those. I'm not going to write aqueous after each of these right now. We'll do that at the end. Plus, we have our sulfate, SO4 2 minus. We have three of these sulfates. Those are the reactants. The products, we have Al three plus, and we have two of those. Then we have sulfate again, SO4, two minus three sulfates, plus our three copper. That was a solid. So from here, we can now cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. And let's see, aluminum, now it's different here. Cu2 plus, also different. Three sulfates, cross those out. So that's really all we can cross out. This is the net ionic equation, and we can clean it up and write it like this. And this is the net ionic equation for Al plus CuSO4, aluminum plus copper 2 sulfate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.